everybody, here we go. We are on arm day. All right, fitness for fathers at 50 years old. Hey, <laughs> it is arm day. I freaking hate arm day. A lot of guys, hey, rah, rah. I hate it because triceps are fun. I like triceps, okay? But the bicep exercises is real simple. It's a curl. It's a hinge. You work on the hinge. You curl this way. You curl that way. You curl this way. You curl that way. It's just a curl. That's bicep exercises. Friggin' boring to me. But uh, we got to find different ways to do it. And I uh, got to spice it up a little bit. So this is arm day. Remember, you're working on a small muscle. Don't go grabbing a bunch of plates and start doing all this crazy bullshit. You, this is a small muscle. Light to moderate, maybe moderate. Light, moderate, weight. Push those reps out. Push the blood to the muscle. Stop trying to lift a car. It's not going to help you. Lift, light to moderate weight. Repetition, 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 repetition. Burn the shit out of the bicep. That's how you're going to make progress. All right, guys? No lifting cars in here. Doesn't do you any good. All right? We are bodybuilding. We are trying to look good for our wives. And our kids, kids can be proud. Hey, that's my dad. He's there. Yeah, he looks badass. That's my father. And the wife says, hey, the guy's with me. I'm taking him home. That's why we do this. No, give, Nobody gives a shit if you can lift the car or not. Okay? So that's why we're doing this. All right, guys? Let's get to it. Let's get some arms, triceps, biceps. Let's go. All right, here we go. Getting our warm up here. Just getting our warm up nice and easy. Use a little bit lighter weight. Just really focus on the motion. Trying to turn that weight over. You want to make sure the dumbbell is completely turned over when you decide when you're coming up. Make sure that palm is up. So now we'll do our doubles. Call them piston curls, the ones that we just did. That's what I call them. All right. So these are doubles, and we're doing them together. Our palms are up. They do not turn in. We're not turning the weight in and turning the hand over. We are keeping the palms up. Just burning them out, trying to get them warmed up. So now we're gonna hit our sessions, beginning. All right, so we got singles. Going moderate weight, just moderate weight. Getting our singles really focused one at a time. These are called, I call these piston curls, one at a time. Make sure when you're bringing the weight up, that palm is up. Once you bring it down, you can flip it around and flip it down if you want to. And we'll go from that to our doubles. Our doubles, now when we're doing doubles, we want to keep the stress on the biceps so the palms are out constantly. It does not change until you're ready to throw those weights on the rack. That's it. Use your knees. Use your knees and your waistline and your core to keep balance. So now we'll go from there to a double. I'm using the cable. You can use a bar if you want to. I am using the cable. Coming all the way up. I like coming between my nose and my chin. Bring it back down. Bring it up and back down. Do not drop the weight. Do not drop the weights. Another curl, obviously. Just working on the hinge. Do not swing your elbows. Try and keep your elbows as stationary. That is the hinge. Try and keep it as stationary as possible. Coming up, there it is. I'm not using the straps with this. Just too much to get on and wrap around there. But these work pretty good. I like these. Keeping my elbows stationary my elbows will pop up a little bit I'm using a little bit of shoulder flexion once they get to the finish of the curl coming up coming down controlled coming up coming down controlled that's what we're doing here like i said using those knees using that core to keep balanced i'm bringing these all the way up all the way up to the top of my nose. You see those elbows are coming up a little bit more. So now we've got the beloved hammer curls. Hammer curls. That means you are bringing it up just like you would 
hammer and nail. It's like you're holding on to a hammer. And that is why it is called hammer curls. Okay, so this is gonna work the brachialis. This is the muscle that's, the bicep muscle brachialis. It's in between the bicep and the tricep. So if you guys are, a lot of guys want to get bigger arms. Well, this is gonna do it. You work this muscle, it's gonna increase in size, which is gonna push away the tricep and the bicep, which is gonna widen your arms. You want bigger arms? Here is the key. Now these I'm coming in close and I'm flipping it up and turning it over. Your, your forearms would get some work as well with this, as well as a brachialis. This will increase the size of the arms, believe me. This is how we're gonna hit our second set here now. Like I said, use those knees. Use those knees, it's like a cushion. So nothing's, uh, we're older now. We don't wanna be jarring and shaking and jarring the body. We need you to use those knees in that core, have a nice, have a nice smooth movement when you're coming up and when you're coming down and descent. And obviously you're coming down controlled. Never drop that weight. Believe me, you keep dropping that weight as you're pressing, dropping that weight as you're curling, and something will pop, all right? And then things change. No more arm day for you. So, same thing, we're going back into these now. Now, like everything, guys, I almost forgot to tell you, same thing, every, same, same, same thing. We are going three sets, three sets, and I'm hitting 30 repetitions on each exercise, so that means I'm going 15 on each side. So I'm going one, two, and I'm counting to 30. All right, so that means 15 on each side, three sets. Three sets of 15 on each side. So just count to 30, guys, real easy. I love these. When it comes to the arm exercise, I like these. These are a little different a little bit different and they help you with the size of your bicep and make you feel a little stronger. So now I've got the incline bench now. I've got the incline bench, okay? The incline is almost a little bit in between a shoulder press exercise and an incline bench. So I've got it in between there. So we've got a little lean back, putting stress on the bicep. Leaning back and those palms always stay out, constant. Constant pressure on the biceps here. We, these are doubles, okay? We are sitting in an incline bench, doing doubles now, keeping stress on the biceps, okay? It's a little different angle. So now, if you wanna angle it even more, fine by me, I do that sometimes. I'll drop it uh, a little bit, drop it a little bit more. But this is perfect, man. This really puts the uh, puts the pressure on those biceps, man. It really helps them grow. I say stretching like this, stretching the bicep out this much. I say save it for the last exercise when your muscle has, when your biceps have as much blood pushed into it as possible. This is the finisher, baby. This is beautiful for a finisher because you've got all that blood pushed in there. So stretch it out. You want to get all the fibers all the fibers. All right, so now we're gonna move to triceps. So I'll work all biceps, now I'll move over to triceps. Okay, simple tricep, push down, and that's it. Now I'm going down and I'm coming up slow. With this beginning exercise, this is, I'm doing some for uh, warm-ups and then some I'm pushing for uh, when I'm getting into the mix of these sets. Now these sets, obviously same thing. Give me a warm-up set one or two you know then once we warm up then we hit it and we are going three sets and i'm doing from i can start out with 20 if i need to but if i'm hitting 20 that means i gotta hit it i gotta get i gotta move the weight up so i move the weight up and then i want to get right around 12 repetitions for three sets three sets of 12. 
gets to the point where it's not. It's got to burn, baby. Don't try and, uh, like I said, don't try and push buildings. Get it burning. Get it burning. That's what I say. That works. So now the push downs are over. Now you can sit on a bench if you got the right machine and go above your head with these. You can use a dumbbell and cup the weight on one side and go above your head. I love using the cables here and leaning, putting my rump there against the, uh, the machine and pushing away above the head with the weight. This works for me. I like it this way. So now we're gonna finish. This is our, we've already did like same thing. We got our three sets. This is my third, I believe this is my final set here. I don't videotape my entire freaking workout. You guys don't wanna be, watch a guy work out or entire workout and I'm for you. Just giving you the tips, showing what I do. Try it at home. So there we go. Same thing, and now you can see that I'm leaned up against. I've got, I'm literally sitting on that bar and I'm pushing away above the head, above the head. I'm pushing away, letting it get the stretch. Once I get the stretch, simply pushing away, and that's it. That's all. So now, I call these the skiers, the ski jumps. It's like, I don't know, looks like in the, looks like in the Olympics when they go off the ski jump and they go, shoot, and they go. So that's what I call ski jumps. Simple two ropes. Get two ropes. If you don't have two ropes, uh, use some chains. You know, the chains, just use one rope. That's fine. But two ropes will get you behind your body where is where you want to be. You want them elbows right there. You want to keep your elbows to your side or even slightly behind the body. And coming in, you'll see your hands will come in a little closer. When you come out, you want to push the ropes out and on the other side of your torso towards your butt there. This you'll feel better than, this is my favorite when it comes to triceps because I feel this more. I feel this more than all the rest of the exercises. This, this is my mix right here, I love this. Love it, love it, love it. You'll get it to the point where your, your body starts giving up, then get those half reps, man. You get like three to five half reps and then just, you know, let the weight go, but make sure Make sure with those, same as always, you uh, control it. You've got to control it. So we're going to finish up here. Finish up with your regular old dip. People have been doing these since the beginning of time, I swear to God. Regular old dip. I'm going to put my Swiss ball there from the bench, bench dips. Now you see I'm not getting too low. My mobility, like I told you, in my joints suck. But I'm getting the push. I get a little mobile by the third set. My uh, mobility has increased uh, a lot, which is a little bit better, but it doesn't matter. Pump these out. Pump these out. The lower you go, the more you got to have to uh, injure something. But uh, pump these out, man. These are just like doing short little push-ups. Do as many as possible until you cannot do it anymore. And you will feel the muscle. And that is it, baby. Hope that was good right, for you. There it was. The uh, arm day is over. Your arm should be, uh, boom, 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 all right? That blood should be in the arms. You should feel like, hey, you want to wear a nice, uh, you know, cozy little snug shirt. Go out with the wife, say, hey, how you doing? <laughs> right? Um, the arm day pumps up the arms and makes you feel like, yeah, all right? Um, be careful with the joints, guys. Be careful with the joints. Um, yeah, the hinge is what we work on, obviously. Be careful with the elbows, all right? Um, take some of that, uh, take some of that stuff um, to help anything you could, everybody's got their own remedy, okay? For joint pain, because you're gonna need it, all right? If you're old anyway, like me, you know, this is for guys around 50 years old. You could, you should be taking it anyway, all right? But this will get you. Um, other than that, that's it, man. We got uh, triceps out of the way, biceps out of the way. Next is the uh, legs. Next is the legs. I work out legs like a woman. No, I work out legs like a little girl. I've had knee surgeries, guys, and uh, so we are definitely going low weight on leg day, and it's good for you anyway. But older guys, man, 
you got your legs, you're running around, you're, you're able to be mobile, be happy about that, okay? Because if you take care of your legs, you're going to be okay. But if you stop it, I had a lady, uh, I dated her daughter years ago. She said, uh, if you don't use it, you lose it. <laughs> I've been using that ever since because it's true. If you don't, you stop using your legs, you're going to be one of those guys that everybody, guys that everybody's pissed at at Disneyland. With those little carts, and everybody's pissed at you because you're causing traffic jams and getting in people's way, running over people's feet and hitting people. They'd be pissed at you. So, uh, got to use it. All right? Let's use those legs, man, so we don't lose them. All right? That's the next. Long Life Trainer. Take it easy, guys.